Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, or Little RV Specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 OHIO RVS. For sale today, we have a 2002 Road Trek 200 popular with 81,921 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2002 Road Trek 200 popular. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My brother Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Our brother-in-law Greg's in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll do a full demo with you at the time of sale. Make sure you're comfortable with your new coach. So Road Truck 200 popular here. This is designed to sleep two people and twin sleepers here, or you can make up one big bed here. I'll drop some pictures later on so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. We've got about 68 inches of headroom here in the rear part of the coach, about 74 and a half inches if you're down here in this basin. We've got your drain for your shower, which is located inside of here. We'll check that out here in a little bit. Basically you got a big wet dry basin here. Got a table mount, your propane furnace, AC power plug-in. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a little step up here, and you step up and down. Got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. AC 110 plug-in. Got a pouch there in the door. A couple cup holders. This window opens on the lower portion with a screen. Got a curtain to pull across here. A little coat hook there. Nice big storage bay here, storage cabinet closet, whatever you like to call it. Two nice drawers at the bottom. We've got our water heater on off there on the top left that ignites itself. Your porch light switch, got your levels test, your water pump on off, your coach battery disconnect that disconnects the coach batteries that prevents parasitic draw. So basically those will run dead if nothing's there to charge them over the time uh, that it's sitting, especially during the winter. The coach battery charges from the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in or the generator. If you have that disconnect off, it will also disconnect the charging systems. Got your generator start stop. We got an Onan 2800 with 148 hours. Fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan Techs. Couple table legs. A little bit of age on the cabinetry. Nothing glaring, but stuff you'd expect for a 2002. Got your microwave here that runs on AC power, so your shore power plug in or your generator. Hood light and fan, got aluminum backsplash, two burner propane cooktop, got a single basin stainless sink, nice big counter area here, got 110 AC plug in there, got a three way Dometic fridge freezer. This is a three way meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug in or your generator, or DC meaning your coach battery. Got your instructions there in the bottom of the box, got your freezer up top. water heater down there. You can see the original carpet that was in the road truck here. The carpet here has been replaced also in the front of the unit as well. Flip you around now back to the passenger side. So essentially you're going to stand in the center of the coach. Got your fantastic fan overhead. That's going to act like an exhaust fan while you're showering to exhaust your moist air out. It can also act like an attic fan at night. If you've got the windows open, this uh, fantastic fan here in the center will bring the cool outside air in. This runs on DC power, so your coach battery. 
electric shower head, a couple of rods to hang some things. Got a medicine cabinet that does open here. Got your little mirror there. Got a storage bay here. Got an AC plug in there for your hair dryer, other goodies like that. Got your toilet here. I'm gonna flip this out for privacy if you'd like. This matches in here to provide privacy while you're using the shower, perhaps while you're sleeping here in the rear. Got your media cabinet here. This has been replaced with a new TV that has a built-in DVD player. We've also got 12 volt power there behind so you can plug things into those cigarette style type lighters. Got another little privacy flip out on this door. Nice big storage base. That's your AC that's plugged in there. Air conditioner runs on 110 AC type power only, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Got window that opens here on the passenger side with a screen on the lower portion. Emergency exit type window here on the back. Be careful opening that. That will fall out to the ground and break. Another screen portion here on the lower. Got curtains throughout. So essentially we've got two wing nuts, one on each side of this nightstand. This is gonna pop down on the floor. This board will flip up and over. Then you're gonna use the table that's below this cushion to fill in the rest of the gap. Then you're gonna take these cushions, pop them down. You're gonna make up the big bed. I'm going to drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The two separate twin sleepers measure approximately 25 inches wide or east-west and 75 inches long or north-south. The nightstand drops down on the ground and the board and table fill in the gap to make the big bed which measures approximately 75 inches north-south or front to back and 75 inches east-west or side to side. Back here in the rear we've got a nice big drawer, got your table mount there in the back. And underneath this cushion, you can lift this up to access the outside storage compartment. Here we are sitting in the back of the road trek. My granddad always used to say, as one door closes, another one opens. Wonderful guy, terrible cabinet maker. Got a noxious gas detector down here. We've got your fuse panel. Got another noxious gas detector over here. Got 110 power over here. A little boo-boo on the cabinet there and also just a little one down here by where this thing flips out got your fire extinguisher down there below the passenger seat all in all a nice road trek here gone through our full inspection process. Nice floor plan, got comfortable sleeping. I'm gonna call this one an eight and a half to a nine. Got a couple blemishes as you'd expect. Also got a boo-boo there on the door of the fridge, but nothing that affects the fun you can have with this RV. It's gone through our full inspection process. We will happily go through a full demo with you here at the dealership. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got a glove box here in the center. Nice clean looking upholstery. Also got new carpet up here in the front. Not noticing any signs of smoking in the form of smells, burns, stains. The cigarette lighter is unused, so while it's tough to say for sure, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Also got this privacy curtain that goes all the way around the front windshield to provide privacy while you're parked. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2002 Road Trek 200 Popular. This RV measures 20 feet, six inches bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. It has four brand new tires. This Road Trek is built on a Chevy 3500 Express Van chassis with an 8.1 liter V8 engine with 81,921 miles. Nice looking exterior on this one, D-badge, so you have no decals, very stealthy. We got your porch light up here. Got actual alloy rims. Get your spare tire there. We've got a pass-through storage. That's your awning crank and center rafter there on the left. 
some tire goodies. Lots and lots of storage here. Take your fishing poles, camp chairs, things like that. Got the clevises here for the awning. The legs are stored inside the awning itself. You can run those down to these clevises. I prefer to run them straight to the ground. That way somebody could not walk through here and knock down your awning legs, scratch the side of the RV, things like that. <clears throat> We've got the air conditioner coming out the back. That's your propane tank down below. That yellow cap there is where that's filled. We've got a tow package. Got your engine exhaust and your generator exhaust. Your generator is up below there where the spare tire would normally be. Got the exhaust over the stove. That's your city water coming in here. You can fill the fresh water tank off of that city water if you'd like to save some time. Outside shower, it's convenient for pets and kids. Got your shore power cord here. Again, lots of storage. Get the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Back of the water heater, back of the refrigerator. Furnace exhaust. Another nice big storage bay. All in all, a nice looking road truck here. Very stealthy with no decals. Ready to hit the highway.